Hello amazing people, welcome to my channel. My name is Jamako. Today I want to show you how to come about designing this birthday flyer using Photoshop. So it's simple, easy, and I'm going to be showing you some tips on how to achieve that. So the first thing I'll be doing, I'll be creating the file on a new page. So I'll be using a pixel, enter wow 65 for the width. For the height, one five four zero. So my resolution, I'm going to use two hundred. So my system will not be too slow. So you can see the page. So I have the resource here. I'm going to be sharing this resource. So the first thing I'll be bringing in is this yellow background. So I'll bring it to my design. So wait for it to come in. So what is in? So guys, these are these are just tips I'm giving you. So just to show you how I achieve that design. So I'm going to be very fast and I'm not be going into details. So just take notes and catch up, guys. So now. What I did, I changed the yellow by applying a hue and saturation. So I'll pick the master here, I'll click. So all the yellows, I look for my color. So you pick a color that you want to use for your design. So if you find that particular part that you need, then you if you let go. So I don't really know exactly the point that you, you know, while designing, as you feel, that's what you want to use. When you see that spot, spot, you know that this is the right thing to do. So I'm using the hue and saturation. So the next thing I did, I brought in paper ribs. So I have this collection where I have different paper types of paper. So I I use these. I'll be sharing these paper rips on the description below. So get it there. You can use it for your design or practice anyone. So I pick the paper which is this and stick it to my design. Make my design. Yeah, my page. I've lost my page. Where's my page? Mm. Let me look for my page. Oh, it's my page. Yeah, let me bring it close to my paper rip. So now paper rip, bring it here, yeah, so as the paper is in, you scale it and just uh, twist like that, adjust, so you pick a point where you feel you are okay with the design. So guys, I'm just giving the tips how I did that. So what I did next, I duplicated the into two. So I have two there. So I brought in the picture, which is this picture. And placed here. So as the picture is long, uh, Boom. So I power click, make sure the picture is above, and that's the one you want to power clip into. So I have this group. So I come here and hold your Alt key in between and click, and we have that max. So you can see, guys, that's how I achieve that. 
So I now applied some my paper, applied some shadows, and dropped shadows to give me some effects to my. So guys, to save time and redesigning this, I'm just going back to my design and show you from there. So at least I've gotten how I did this uh, paper rip part. So I'll just go to my design and explain more from there. So guys, you can see from my design here, I downloaded this red pin and placed here red pin from pngwings.com. So if you go to pngwings and type paint, you get to download different kind of paints that you can use for your design. So I typed in enjoy life. So I brought in this other picture, remove the background and list here, as simple as that. Type the name, uh, Rose. So I use the font Bebas. Bebas. So let me show you how I did that. I type uh, Rose. I typed Rose. So after typing rows, I went to my so you have the rows for instance like this. Then go to your layers here, right click and convert to shape. So if you convert to shape, you go to these two right here that will enable you to adjust the node as the direct selection tool. So if you have that, then you pick, so it enables you to adjust the text. So if you select, you can just expand. So this is just an example. So you can see how, how it's expanding. So that's how I typed the rules and expand it. So I think you've got that too. Mostly, those are the part of the design. Then the words here behind. You can see the word behind my background. The, the word there and see them. I have some words arranged like that. So how I generated those words, I went to chat GPT. The chat GPT give me words, happy words for birthday. So it gives me give me words. So I came here to wordart.com, create. Once you go to wordart.com, you create, then you come here, paste those text that you generated from Either you type them or you generated them from ChatGPT. So to ease my work, I always go there. ChatGPT, list those words. You pick a shape that you want to align those text to and create. You paste the word, add image, add words, and Let's just do some words and see. So if we have words, import. Well, uh, type. Let's just type some words. So let me copy, paste. For instance, we have these words, then they import, import those words and 
to your layout settings, pick the shape that you want to use. Let's say box, square, anyone to import your shapes. And let me see, I'm using hat. Then I visualize. So those words are going to fit in automatically to your hat. Creating those effects you are seeing. So you can see amazing job done by the beautiful platform. So you can choose your layout, how you want it to spread, how you want the text to spread. So you can choose horizontal, vertical. Visualize and it gives you another style. So guys, you can play around with it and get what you want. Just know the style, wordart.com. Get there and do your thing. So, going back to my design, let's just see how this will appear. So you can see the change is done and see. So let's just go back to our design. Uh, so basically, that's how I achieved that. So I hope you got something today. So I'm going to be placing this paper rip download and the background and this um, in. So you can get how to do this, this round stuff from my previous videos. So guys, hope you got something today. So, but these are, um, um, what we call Slayer. So you can see it's normal. I downloaded it um, like that. You can see. I was like this, downloaded. So placed here and blending option, I will choose screen. So to give me this shiny effect on my design. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for stuff like this. So download this stuff, use them, and hit me up. Anything you want to ask, hit me on the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you next time. My name is Jamako.